Welcome back to the den. In this video, I want to share with you a new small artisan that just kicked off their company in 2022. I believe it was somewhere just before the summer. Don't quote me. Luxury King Grooming Products out of Houston, Texas. I was first really intrigued by the beard balm. I, um, just like the soaps, I have more beard balm than I actually need. Oils, butters, you name it. I keep meaning around to get around to doing a video about them. I'll get there. And when I do, I'll include this one. Full disclosure, the soap and the balm were sent to me as a gift for review. Did not pay for these. But I have here the Beard Balm Sandalwood. And they have five different fragrances. They have Cologne, Aqua, Musk, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. I've had this in my beard all day today. I've used it, I've had this for more than a week. I've used the soap for five shaves, lathered, lathered it up seven or eight different times. I probably used the balm at least five times. I think I've actually used it more than that because I used it all last week at work and the week before that. So good stuff though, Maynard. I love it. We'll talk about that in a second. It's a hard soap. It does come in a smaller 65 gram container, 10. That's 2.2 ounces, but it's super hard. And so it should last you longer than a crope would. I had tried scooping it. Two of my shaves actually scooped it. And the very first one I scooped. It's super hard. It's scoopable. It's not quite as hard as say, you know, Mitchell's or something like that but it's right up there. Something that's kind of cool too is they give you a free brush when you buy the soap. It's not the most elaborate brush, but it is a Poisson type and it is individually wrapped. So if you decide that you just want the soap and not the brush, you can go that route too and totally gift it. The soap is $15. The bombs run $10. I'll be using today the Mula Roca that I got for Christmas. This will be well, probably about my fourth or fifth use with it too. I have in it a first use Rapira Platinum. And I've used a Rapira in this before and I loved it. So I want to use it again today. This soap is lightly scented with peppermint. Almost comes across like a spearmint to my nose. It is extremely light um, in fragrance. I think like Alien Shaves. Um, maybe even lighter than alien shaves. It can, it works well with every fragrance that I've tried and I've bounced a lot of fragrances off of it, trying to play around with it. It's late. I'll be going to bed here soon and I'll be joining my beautiful bride. And so since I'll be doing that, I also wanted to use a aftershave that isn't too strong and one that she enjoys as well. So I'll be using Moon's Old School Balm. Excess water out of here. I've been loading it for about 30 seconds. This is a very... I, I can't say... I can't express just how impressed I was with the, with the production of this soap. I honestly, my... Expectations were low when I first opened it up. Thought, hmm, I don't know. And that very first use, I, when I that I scooped it, I produced a great, great lather, and that was just playing with it. I didn't even, you know, sh actually shave with it. Uh, and then the very next lather, that same day, I loaded it like I am now, and I couldn't believe how much I actually got off of it. I did bloom it for oh a minute or so. So out of Houston, Texas, a guy named Bobby McGowan and his sister. They started the company up originally um, because Bobby was looking for a better beard balm. Um, he had some problems with beard balms in the past and was a little skeptical of some of the ingredients and in some of them out there. And so he set out to create a better beard balm. And if you read their mission statement, it's super cool. 
they also make pomades and a beard shampoo and conditioner and they offer a comb and a beard brush as well the mission statement one i'll put it up here in the top right of the screen but i liked it it's It's the kind of mission statement that you get out of a small company, and I like it because it's exactly, you know, as soon as I read it, it's just the, the perfect mom and pop type um, mentality. And it was something about one person at a time um, with quality products and excellent customer service. And so far, talking with Bobby, he's the a gentleman. And I actually am look, looking forward to the different things that these guys produce. They just got started. I love the simplicity of the label. Very, very old school. You know, it kind of almost fits right in with this moon. moon I can't talk. It's, it's not that late. I am that old, but it's not that late, y'all. Now I'm talking like a Texan. Look around for Dougie. I don't do the Dougie, but I know, I know Dougie. Dougie Shaven, you know Dougie? Dougie says it y'all, and he sometimes gets me wanting to say it. So seriously, this produces one hell of a lather. Great cushion, great glide, great protection. It's a damn good soap. I hope y'all had a great holiday. I spent it New Year's Eve shaving with Chris Sully Cortez, you may have seen that, and Smiley and Andy. That was a great way to wrap up the year um, with We Shave. Very light, very, very light fragrance. Low scent for sure high results like I was saying this brush it's not the fanciest but it is free and it comes individually wrapped and it's perfect for gifting if you're someone like me who has you know 80 brushes you may not have a use for another synthetic brush I will probably keep this one just because it was a gift from Bobby and it'll be something you know I'm I'm a I'm kind of a dweeb like that. I don't, I don't know if that's the right word either. Sentimental. I'm old school, like the name of my fragrance here. And I don't know, it's just something that I have to remember it by. Kind of like how I have the t-shirts from Douglas with the soaps that he sends me. And there's other things that I have from other artisans that I'll keep. And friends and you know different people throughout life things that I've held on to how's that showing up in this light it looks good in my mirror I got a mirror to my right your left oh. yesterday I attempted to do an outdoor shave with this um, I went to where I did my very first outdoor shave last year in February, the exact same spot, and it just didn't work out. That's okay. It's working out just fine right here. First use, Repair Platinum, my Mula R96 Roca. One of this razor ever since they came out. It does not disappoint. I love it. Let's see if we can get some of this feedback. Great glide, great cushion. Super impressed with the performance of the soap and the beard balm. The sandalwood, it is lightly fragranced as well. It is a very pleasant, a very soft and pleasant sandalwood. Sometimes sandalwood by itself can be off-putting, um, but not this one. Ooh, it's a little dark over here. I'm, I'm trying different lighting. So I think 
for this pass. This side of the face I might go with looking at you guys. I've been playing with different lighting and different angles. I think I'm just going to have to eventually buy something to mount behind you and over to my right more. Where I have my Oregon Duck pirate flag right now. I'm going to have to move it though because I definitely want to put something over there. Down here to my left, like I do in my other den shaves and when we're doing we shave, I have a bowl full of water for rinsing my razor. When I finish too, I'll show you the peaks that this stuff produces. I was talking with an artisan not too long ago. And that artisan was sharing with me that there's currently over 300 artisans in the game today. 300. And I believe it, because every day it seems like there's a company that I've never heard of. Luxury King was one of them. It really seems like, too, that since the pandemic, a whole bunch of people popped up. I know a couple of my favorites. Um, dang, look at that. Can you guys see that lather? I don't know how well that's stupid lighting. I'm not going to complain about my lighting. But I want to. It looks good in the mirror, but I don't like the way it's looking when I look at the screen. It's fucking awesome. What was I saying? Art artisans. So, three of my favorite new artisans Elysian, Bricktown, and Heritage. Those guys have all joined us since the pandemic. Trying to think of who else that has been either at that time or since then. I can't believe it's already been three years. Well, come March. It's January of 23 now, the very beginning of January. I was sharing with a friend of mine, another YouTuber, last week. It's going to be interesting to see what 2023 has in store. Not that I don't wish anyone well. This has become a very competitive market. And I don't see how a community our size can support 300 artisans. It's it's a competitive market, man. It's and I didn't see the actual numbers of the artisan, but the artisan who shared the information with me is an artisan that I definitely trust. And it's the kind of thing that you can take to the bank and they would know. Is that 30 seconds or so of, of loading the brush? And with this Plisson type brush, it's going to hold more than enough for three passes. I think this is a great soap and that the company is definitely worth checking out. I don't use pomades. I've always wanted to use pomades. I've actually, I actually own a few that I have in the bathroom, but I'm probably never going to use them. I have played with them. Um, the beard bombs, beard products I use every single day. I don't use a mustache wax every day, but Virtually every day, I'm either putting a, a butter, an oil, a balm, or a wax, because I do have beard wax as well in my beard. It just depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going, and what the weather's going to be like. I've got a great beard wax that I wear when I know I'm going to be somewhere outside where the weather isn't as forgiving. And I want to keep that hold. This beard balm from them, is, um, I, for when it comes to balms, I'd give it about a medium balm hold. Not a medium wax hold, but a medium balm hold. It's definitely great for taming a beard. 
And when it comes to moisturizing, this beard balm is just as good, if not better, than the 10 or 20 others that I have in my drawer in the bathroom. And when it comes to the performance of the soap, I'd say it performs just as well as any or most of all the tier one soaps out there today. The only place that it's light is in the fragrance. I know that's a good thing for a lot of people because that's kind of where the industry has been moving lately is towards lighter scented fragrances. I've always liked longevity. Um, but I enjoy a lot of the light fragrances too. Um, I've always definitely been a Goldilocks kind of guy when it comes to oh, that Mula. I love this razor. I wish I would have bought it sooner. There's just so many things out there on the market today, even razors. There's so many. I, I, I still don't own a carve razor and I want to carve really bad. There's just so many, there's so much competition. Again, you know, that's just, it's vying for our attention and vying for our dollar. I need to though because I I have used a carve and it was a, it was a great shaver. I borrowed Peter. Peter, I always I always slot your, your last name. Peter's in Norway. Van Van der Meij. He's Peter. I'm gonna do a small touch up here. Teeny tiny right there. Right there's my my trouble spots right in here. Right there. I will put links in the description to bobby that's luxury king uh instagram he is receptive and responsive fairly quickly on instagram so if you want to send him any questions I definitely invite everybody to support him by at least following the page and check them out be interesting to see if he comes out with any more fragrances or where exactly he wants to focus his attention. It sounds like to me that he's, you know, a beard guy and is offering the soap to the guys who do shave. I don't know, you got some guys with beards, you know, that they keep it trim up here and whatnot, kind of like DK does. Um, but then there's some guys that they don't have to do that kind of stuff or they don't, you know, care or whatever in this. Let it get all Grizzly Adams. Now I'm dating myself, but. And I, I'm still, you know, getting to know Bobby. I, I really, I, I don't know Bobby McGowan. Um, other than just a few conversations that he and I have had. But I can tell you that his product is amazing. It, it is. It's great. It's a light scented peppermint. It's just, it's a very light peppermint. It is. Um. If you've tried Alien Shaves, that's the most recent company as a whole. Because, you know, all of Alien Shaves that I've, at least that I'm aware of, they're all low scent. And that's what their, you know, their angle is, is those lower scented fragrances. Which is great, because then you can match it up with any EDP, um, any aftershave. Whatever your heart's desire, right? So that's my sixth shave with this soap. All of them have been excellent. Oh, let me show you the, what we got here is failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. I don't know why, that's Civil War from Guns N' Roses. I've had that song stuck in my head since the 90s, and especially that intro. What we got here is, shut up, shaving Toby. Failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. So you get what we had here last week, which is the way he wants it. Well, he gets. I don't like it any more than you men. Damn good. Damn good stuff, guys. Did I get too carried away there? Did I, did I actually show you the peaks? Gotta hold it up. It's good stuff, Maynard. It really is. We're clowning around, Tobin. He's doing a review. Doing a review.
So before you started mucking around, I was doing a review. I was talking about it being a light scent and you can match it up with any aftershave or EDP. Today, I'm once again doing that with one of my favorites. Old school for moon soaps. I still need to get Astoria. I have big plans for a shave with that soap when and if I ever do. I'll take it to Astoria and there's a particular ridge that I want to get up on top of and do a shave from. Trouble is our, our cabin on the coast is Southern Oregon down Port Orford, Orford and Astoria is about as far north as you can get. When it comes to north and south, we're like right in the middle of Oregon. We're on the west side, but north to south, we're about in the middle. And Astoria is all the way up by Washington State. And then our cabin is at the exact opposite. But we're going to need to go up there and visit anyways. We have the Tillamook Cheese Factory, Ice Cream Factory up there. And that's always, you know, a ton of fun. You do ice cream samples and whatnot. And then, of course, there's the Goonies house. And there's a lot to do in Astoria. A lot to do in Astoria. So, seriously, I can't recommend you guys checking these guys out enough. The Beard Bomb, excellent. Beard Bomb is only 10 bucks. The soap is 15 And you get the brush. Pomades, I wrote that down. They're, they have six fragrances of the pomades. And those are only 10 bucks. So... All of them are fairly priced. And yeah, I can't say enough nice things about them. Like really, it's, it's a great performer. Um, even the sandalwood smells amazing and it's light, which I don't like a strong fragrance on my beard, especially not in the, the mustache. <sighs> it's a little big things, gentlemen. And uh, I wish you a great 2023. Bobby McGowan and sister, and I haven't got the sister's name. Thank you for this opportunity. I think you're doing great things. And that 2023 is going to be a great year for you. Y'all take care of yourself. Thanks for joining me in my den. You see my new, my new signs back there? Two of them I've had. I've just moved stuff around. I got rid of that hat rack. The hat rack's now over here to my left. You're right. I'll stop Jabber John. Jab, jab, Jabber John. Y'all take care of yourself. Until next time.